not all monkeys are born equal. Some are a little more unique. With surprising swimming skills, a statement pot belly, and oh, had you noticed its nose is as big and bulbous as Squidward's? This is the proboscis monkey. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. Proboscis monkeys are old world monkeys, endemic to the island of Borneo. You can find the monkeys in mangrove forests and swamps along the island's coast and rivers. This unique looking primate gets its name from its giant schnoz, which can grow up to 10 centimeters long. For mammals, the word proboscis means an elongated nose, like a tapir's trunk or an anteater's snout. So proboscis monkey pretty much means long nose monkey, which is appropriate because look at that thing. Their noses hang so low that the monkey has to push it aside to put food in their mouth. The male monkeys are the ones with the floppy honkers, while females have a smaller, upturned nose. But it's not just the nose that's bigger on the boys. Obviously, I'm referring to their bodies. Males are about 50% heavier than the females and are one of the largest monkeys in Asia. Their long coats come in bright orange, reddish brown, and yellowish. Their underfur is a light gray, their tails are long, and their stomachs are large and swollen. Another distinctive feature, the male's bright red penis and black scrotum. Proboscis monkeys mainly eat fruits and leaves. The odd time, they've been known to mix things up with flowers, seeds, and even insects. But their go-to is mostly unripe fruit from January to May, and mostly leaves from June to December. Their bulging potbelly stomach is made up of chambers containing a special bacteria that helps the monkey break down the large amounts of leaves they eat. Recently, scientists discovered that some of these monkeys chewed their cud in the same way cows do. They were spotted regurgitating their food and giving it another chew. You may think it's gross, but it actually helps with their slow digestion. The proboscis monkey is one of the only primates that does this. Another thing that sets them apart from other monkeys is they're great swimmers. Proboscis monkeys love the water and are capable of traveling across rivers and swimming as deep as 20 meters below the surface. Their partially webbed feet help them with paddling and walking on slippery banks. These monkeys also love to jump off tree branches and belly flop into the water. Sometimes they jump from heights of up to 15 meters. That's gotta hurt. When they're not in the water, proboscis monkeys are doing the classic monkey thing and hanging out in trees. They're incredibly social animals and usually live in troops that average between 10 to 30 monkeys. These groups contain one dominant male and up to 10 adult females, and they're young. There are also all-male bachelor troops and the odd male who lives on his own. Proboscis monkey groups aren't particularly territorial or competitive with one another. At night, troops will join up to the rest and sleep in adjacent trees. During the day, they'll get together to travel, forage, feed, and watch out for each other. It's the female's job to lead the search for food and care for offspring. The male is on defense. He scares off potential predators by making loud, honking sounds, baring his teeth and roaring. And despite their large size and mostly tree-dwelling lifestyle, there are predators who want a piece of the proboscis monkey. On the ground, there are clouded leopards. In the water, there are hungry crocodiles. That's where those webbed feet and hands come in handy. Swim, monkey, swim! Now, let's get back to the reason you're all here. The monkey nose. That statement schnoz isn't just beautiful, it has a personality of its own. When the male monkey is angry or excited, his nose has been known to become red and swollen. It can also help the primate produce a loud, bellowing sound, which can be used to alert danger or as a mating call. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but the rumors are true. The bigger the nose, the more sexually attractive the male is to the female. Go figure. 
When it's time to mate, the male will grab the female by the ankles or torso and mount her from behind. While copulating, both monkeys will make a pouting face. Sometimes males will vocalize, and females may present their backsides and shake their heads from side to side, like some kind of reverse twerking. If their efforts are successful, the female will become pregnant. Around six months later, she will give birth to one infant. They will be born with a deep blue face and almost black coat. Don't worry, the male proboscis is the father. The baby will change colors in three to four months. During the first year of its life, the baby won't leave mom's side. However, once she welcomes another infant, she'll have to cut the apron strings. After that, the female young will typically continue living in the group, but the boys have got to leave. He might join an all-male bachelor group, and one day, he may lead a troop of his own. I guess that'll all depend on how big his nose is. Proboscis monkeys live between 15 and 20 years. They are listed as an endangered species, and as you can probably guess, their dwindling numbers aren't because of crocodiles. It's because of humans. Their habitat is being destroyed by deforestation, mainly due to logging and clearing the land for palm oil plantations. The monkeys are also targeted by hunters as they're considered a local delicacy. But in recent years, the capture and killing of proboscis monkeys was made illegal, and conservation laws have been written to help protect these big nose beauties. So what should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya.